Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In this video we will be going over how to set up Domino's UI. A very clean and very sleek UI, I believe. A bit different than Bartender, but Domino's is pretty easy once you can face the first clutter and all its mess. I am sick in this video so I do apologize for that, but we will make a quick tutorial for you guys to get the cleanest UI outside of Elv UI. Uh, at the end we will look at my other characters who I have been using Domino's for a while on, so I hope you all enjoy. So as you see, Domino's is very disorganized when you first load it in. Um, I've been using Domino's for quite a while now, but so I just typed uh, Domino's reset and it instantly did that. Uh, so, but we're gonna go through and look at it from scratch. So if you type in slash Domino's, you'll see configure bars and bind keys. We're gonna start with configure bars. Now don't get flustered when you see this as it's pretty normal. These are all the stances for warrior. So what I'm gonna do is just drag them out here and just keep all the clutter away right now. Still everything that you don't think you'll need, just drag it over there. Keep everything organized. We're trying to keep a very minimal profile, keeping it to a minimal. So with everything right there, we will uh, just hide these right here. So I know it still is clustered. Move talking heads up there as well. Not still not sure what that thing does, but all right. As we hit exit, you'll see that it cleans up a ton. Looks very nice. Um, still, still got this top bar right here that we're gonna do something with just to organize. So we're gonna go back into Domino's. Um, I still have all my keybinds set from when I did have it. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, move these kind of down here since they're not they're hidden they're still not they will not be able to uh, be clicked on anyway we're gonna move this and just give us our, ourselves a little side panel um, I'll do that in a second but with these we're gonna hide these and uh, we're gonna move these all these bars up as we need to get our experience bar here I'll show you how to do that right now so once again we're gonna keep it very organized. Go by the blocks. So this is, uh, as you see, one block here. I just don't like that being out of line. All right, then we're gonna move this down. Now we're gonna reduce the width of it, bring it down to size, you know, angle it correctly. Still bring it down. You can use your mouse wheel to sc uh, scroll it down. You want to increase the height to fit the bar right there. So what it's going to look like is that. Looks very neat and clean. Still got this up here. Still got this bar to worry about. So I'll open that up right now. So with these right here, uh, we want that to go along the lines of this right here. So we're going to reduce the columns, bring it down to about two columns, bring that over there, about right here. So for instance, if we wanted, you know, I don't know, put uh, our consumes over there, like right there, looks good. Out of the way, it's like a little sidebar for the regular UI. Now, um, this will fit in here just like that that more out of the way get that perfect the one thing that bothers me about this is when you hover over something that is like that you can't really see over here but that's why I have like the healing charts or you know um, tiny threat so once I'm fighting it's not really bothering me that much but uh let's see we'll move this back down about right there get this uh pretty organized keep the pet action bar because you're gonna need that for some fights and 
Uh, let's see. Now I personally like this hidden, but then, you know I showed uh, showed you how to adjust that according to the uh, scale. So that's going to be hidden. We're going to move everything back down. Keep it all together. I won't need the XP bar for a while. There's that. Now if you are the type of person that likes the um, unit frames down here, and you can always move these about right here. And then move this as well. Uh, test it out, see if the cast bar is good. Pet action bar is still going to come right there, so just adjust accordingly. I mean, it still looks good to me. As you see, this is what my druid bars uh, look like using dominoes for a while now. I adjust on the fly. Those eyeballs are my pet, so I don't forget to uh, summon him. Dominoes, or not dominoes, but um, details over there is displaying a lot of. Uh, rate information that I want to keep track of so I have it all organized over there It's pretty clustered for, to some people, but it works for me. So it's pretty nice for me and Now uh, you'll see my paladins here uh, very out there. He has a lot more Consumes to be using and all this stuff. So uh, His are a little bit more out to the right that I customize. It's just very customizable uh, UI that you can use so here's my hunter very clean I mean, I personally enjoyed over Bartender. It's just a great uh, add-on to use. But uh, overall, that should be it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. So if you don't mind hitting that like button, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.